Hello lovelies, I'm Angela and this is Parisian Farm Girl. Bienvenue and welcome to my channel. Next week I will be back in Paris sharing with you my favorite Parisian flea market. I can't wait to share that with you. But today I'd like to invite you to slow down. If you are a homemaker like I am, you're looking forward into your calendar. Thanksgiving is just a few weeks away and you're starting to feel that anticipation of everything that needs to be done. So I'd love for you to take the next eight or nine minutes and just relax with me. I'd like to share with you the death of my garden. Now that may sound strange, but a garden is not just beautiful in its heyday in June and July and August. It's beautiful as it fades into winter. So I'm going to start sharing with you the beginning of October all the way till this morning, our first frost. I just filmed these clips this morning before bringing this to you. And I'd like you to see how a garden loses its color but maintains its beauty. Suddenly, it's a little too cool to go to the beach. The morning and evening sunlight sit lower in the sky. The roses are bursting open in protest, knowing that their days are short. The nasturtiums glow as the lavender fades, and the sunflowers begin to topple. But that doesn't stop the bees from gathering everything they can. It's a slow wilting of some plants and a bursting forth of others. As winter begins, it's slow march towards the garden. It's in these early October days that I cherish the color. The purple fountain grasses, the roses, and the lisianthus. I greedily bring in whatever I can to enjoy, for the harvest is pleasant and balmy early on, but the winds will come soon. By mid-October, I know the end is near. The fall festival parades are over, the grape and apple harvests are in, and our beautiful beaches are dressed in the fading colors of Midwest prairie flowers, and our forests are giving their very, very best.
It's time for pies and cozy. It's time to take the bounty of the outdoor garden and create something beautiful to enjoy all winter. If we're going to do a video about farm life and closing down the garden for the season, then I have to close it out by telling you about my farm boots because I get asked all the time about my favorite tools, my favorite gear. My Hisia boots are definitely my favorite. Everybody in the family wears them. We love them. They have a 100 year warranty and a 100% keep dry and warm warranty. They serve us very well. And I have something really great for you because there's a way that you can participate with this company as well. I love my boots. They do keep me 100% dry and warm and they're extremely comfortable, which is great because of the long hours I spend in the garden. If you'd like to try some, I'd like to invite you to participate in the Hisia Product Testers Recruitment Program. There is a link in this video description where you can find out all about it. You can sign up for the program and they will send you seven coupons totaling $100. So be sure to check the link in this video description so that you can participate, get some great Hisia boots for your hunting season, your gardening season. Be ready for next year. Now let's get back to some gardening. And yet another week has gone by. The wind and the rains are here, but they will only last a few days this week. 
and I will spend whatever time I can in the garden before the inevitable frost. becomes her, don't you think? Thank you for joining me as we watched my garden fade into winter. Make sure that you have subscribed. I'd love for you to watch another video, and absolutely, why don't you join me in Paris next year? I have just a few spots left, and you can do that by clicking this button right here. A bientôt.